Alright, so welcome back to F1 23. Now, the other day I made a video looking at the new uh, scenario at Austria, and I was basically saying, I can't believe they have released not one, but two scenarios that they've already released. Uh, so today, I'm going to be covering the other one that they re released, which is Oscar Piastri in the Netherlands. It's wet conditions uh, in P9, and you're meant to like just do some good overtaking and get an unlikely podium. Alright, so here we go then. Let's so go we are there starting now. on the soft and dries, and I'm going to assume that over time. Time, it's gonna get a bit more wet. So seeing as it's a scenario, I'm gonna do it a bit different today. I'm actually gonna try and show how you can get a very high scenario score. So of course, you do want to have minimum assists. So like, if you can, turn off braking and steering. Now, manual gearbox you can turn off and that gives you a nice boost, but I mean, if you really can't drive without it, I suppose you can turn it on. What is annoying is that manual with suggested gear doesn't give you a points boost, uh, which is annoying because that'll make it a lot easier. Uh, the same thing with the racing line, uh, whether it's on or corners only, you don't get any boost, it needs to be fully off. As you can see, I've got both assisted uh, line and gearbox. Now, the only reason I have an uh, assisted gear, well, I keep saying assisted, automatic gearbox is uh, because, well, it's very loud on the mic. When I'm playing on my own, I do turn it to manual. And with the racing line, I barely, I don't actually really use it as much. I use it more as a guideline, but most corners I break earlier or even later than it tells me to. And of course, you want to make sure that you are crashing a minimal amount of times, if not, well, ideally zero. But then you also need to be consistently fast. So, it's a bit like what Sebastian Vettel said. Go fast, don't crash. It is as simple as that. And even with assists, you should be able to get a high score if you're just not bigging it in the wall every lap, like I do. And the final thing with the AI difficulty, just... I mean, you can attempt it as many times as you want, so just keep going until you hit your peak. That is also a fucking beautiful overtake on Nico Hulkenberg. Can we hang that up in the Louvre or like what? So yeah, basically to summarise, to get a high scenario score, just set the AI as hard as you can, turn all the assists off you can, and then just don't crash, and you should get a pretty decent score. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on the video. But there are a couple little raindrops that are starting to arrive on track. And can I also point out how many cars I'm overtaking? Like, these cars are all on the hard tyre and shit, but still, I mean, I'm getting some overtaking done. And it's another move down the inside, wheel on the grass, in the spitting wet. That is impressive. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, you can definitely tell the rain is starting to come in, because I'm sliding about a bit more. So I don't know if I'm actually going to come in on this lap or the lap after. It's going to be this lap, I think. Uh, lap 66, that is this one, so let's get in. Oh, that's get... Okay, that has suddenly got really treacherous. Oh, look at that! Two cars have spun off behind me. I believe it is Lewis Hamilton and Hulkenberg have both spun off behind me. Right, let's get in this pit lane. Into the pits, we must go. E I E I E I O was Lewis Camelto and Nico Hulkenberg get disqualified. All right, what well, they got disqualified because they spun out. Okay, fair enough. So there's no like safety car or anything. It's just straight back out on track and get some overtaking done. Yeah, I don't care, mate. No one cares. Oh, I am so much faster than Albon through these corners. Like it is not good for him. Great for me though, and I'm gonna slip one up the inside there, try and avoid the grass, because that just will put you in the wall quicker than you can say intermediates. Uh, so let's avoid that. Now of course in the wet as well, you get a lot more ERS to play with, uh, because you're braking more, and you're on throttle less. So hopefully we can use that to my advantage as well. So we are going for a podium here. And we have, well, only Russell and Perez left to, like, overtake, and then we've done it. And we'll see over the next lap how much I'm catching up by. But so far, it's looking a bit promising. It's like a tenth a corner. And there are a lot of corners on this track, so a tenth a corner is really good. I'm getting quite close to Russell here. It's not enough to go for a move. But the AI breaks so like much round that corner, and it's just completely unnecessary. Some information on Perez. But then I have okay, a massive amount of understeer, so I can't get past there. 
And Perez has a problem. I like that a lot. That means I'm going to be catching him fairly quick, as is George Russell. So if I, if I could just get past Russell, the podium should be in the bag. Oh, I've got a lovely slipstream here. As a back marker okay, gets well, out the way, I'm going to dive down the inside of George Russell. And that is a lovely dive bomb. Keep it on the track. That is lovely. And Perez is now under two seconds ahead. Come on. Oh, Perez is really slow. I've caught up by six tenths in this first sector alone. Another six tenths through that corner alone. And I'm having more understeer problems. And I've gone off. And I'm back on. And I've gone off. And I'm back on. And I've crashed. Perez sliding everywhere. This should be a very easy overtake. I mean, he's apocalyptically slow. So let's just send one round the outside. Keep it wheel to wheel. Stay off the gravel, but keep it really nice and tight. Okay, and it's a great move, it really is. And that does see us into the podium places on lap 69. <laughs> anyway. So now I'm just going to cruise about for the next two laps, or, well, three laps, and we'll have a nice little podium. Yay! All right, final lap, and I must say, this car has been fantastic to drive from these last few laps. Like, unbelievably consistent, perfectly balanced. The grip is astronomical. Astronomical? I don't know. For wet conditions, the grip is just really good. And that, that there, that's my only real moment in these last few laps. Like, this car has been so nice. Okay, Especially the around here, the fact that you can just send the car in, even in wet conditions, and you have the confidence to come out the other side, eh, hey, okay? Ah, oh, it's just lovely. Uh, the setup I'm using, if you just search, basically just okay, F123 Netherlands up Race Setup. I forgot the channel, but it, uh, whoever they are, like they're legends, like they make uh, optimal race setups for every single track, and they're all like pretty spectacular. There's a couple that are a bit shit, because, um, well, there's a lot like less or more downforce than there should be, but even so, they do some great setups. I definitely recommend it. But in terms of this current scenario I'm in, I've completed the objective they gave me, which is to finish third. And I have finished third. With a six second gap to Posh Spice. What a game! And what a race that was. That was really good. I'm well pleased. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. Fastest lap for me, Oscar Piastri. We can take a quick look at the lap times. And as you can see, we are lapping in the... High 119 and the final lap and 18.7 is really, really nice. Whereas the cars ahead, you know, I'm like a, I'm like a second quicker on that final lap than anyone. That's really, really good. So yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for today. If you want to try this event out for yourself, I believe it's out for another 11 days at the time of recording this. Uh, when you're watching this, it's probably like still over a week left. So you've got plenty of time to sit here and grind and uh, get a decent score. As I'll be doing as well, I'm going to aim to be top 5%. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.